We've just found a heron and it's made a kill. Byron, it's my young eyes. You're quite correct. I don't know what it's eating. A little, f oh, it's a frog. Look at it. Is it a frog, Craig? Do you think it's a frog? Yes, it is. I can see two little legs at the back over there. Oh, delicious. Lucky for you, Heron. Now it is getting quite dark. The light is fading fairly quickly. Hopefully it will fade quick enough um, so that we can put the infrared on. But did you see that? It snatched that frog up just on the edge of the water. And again, the amphibians are also starting to get active now as the, well, the ni night time is about to arrive. And I love the way that they always sort of dip it in water um, to help, help it go down, I suppose, to go down their throats. But straight into one frog and now it's looking for its next meal. I would love to know if anybody has ever sat, and I'm sure there are many people that have done their theses on uh, herons, how many frogs and fish a heron can catch an entire day. I don't think I've ever heard a number before, but I think it would be quite spectacular uh, to find out something like that. 16. Chris, is that just a random number? Or you give us it an actual answer? Oh, <laughs> so Kirst, who's directing us, she says that they only catch between 16 frogs and fish every single day. I suspect it may be a little bit more, but that's quite a good guess. And I think that this heron has got a nice advantage now in the fading light. You can even still see its reflection. Let's see, it looks like it's going in for the kill again. Yes. Oh, and it missed it. Now, I'm sure it does that a lot more uh, than it does when, well, when it catches something. But how cool was that? We got to see a kill and we got to see a heron because the one at Juma Dam on Cheetah Plains flew away, was very rude. And in case you're wondering what species of heron this is, I think I failed to mention it, but it is a gray heron just walking the edge of the bank there. And I'm sure it just goes round and round the entire day, looking for small crustaceans, looking for the frogs, even a snake I'm sure it will gobble up. And then of course, any fish it would absolutely love. Now, Julian, you've said about 45 frogs a day. That's a good guess. I think that that sounds um, a little bit better. But yeah, amazing. I'll have, to, I'll have a look tonight and see. A couple of my friends have studied zoology and, and some of the things they've had to do is, f well, they've chosen to follow cattle egrets around. Um, so I'll see if any of them uh, decided to follow herons around. And of course, I'm sure that would be one of the questions or one of the things they'd have to try and figure out out is how much food they eat, how often they strike, you know, how many times were they successful, how many times were they unsuccessful. A friend of mine has just done a thesis on forktail drongos and about the same thing. So I'm, I'm pretty certain um, that someone out there would have done it on a heron and I think that would be a very interesting paper to of course read. Now we're quite lucky, we are able to spend a lot of time with these animals, but not quite as much time as I think we would like to. Well, the hippos are making a bit of a ripple in the water. What's going on? Maybe it's our mating friends uh, that you saw earlier with Byron. I think.